In this video, I'm going to quickly show how to install processing on Ubuntu 16.04. Um, um, and I've made this really, really simple. So just go to processing, download the Linux, um, it's a like a zip folder, the tarball, whatever. Download that, it will chuck it in your um, home downloads. Then also, if you go to my GitHub page and then go install processing on Ubuntu, when it loads, if you grab this um, this shell script, uh, if you go to the raw, and then right click save page as, you just save it again to your downloads, um, leave the name the same, doesn't really make any difference. Awesome. So, I can close that browser. I'm actually in the virtual machine, that's why it's going really quite slow. So, next thing to do is make this shell script um, executable. So if you go to properties uh, and then permissions and then allow executing this file as a program, you need to allow that. Awesome. And then um, just need to launch a terminal. So uh, the shortcut key for terminal on Ubuntu is control alt and t or you can just go through the Unity launcher. Um, first thing you need to do is change the directory to, to downloads which is um, this, uh, yeah, and then what we need to do is we need to sudo, so we need to run this as, as root, um, and then it's dot uh, backslash, and then the name of the file, which is install processing.sh. Make sure you've got the capitals in the right place because otherwise it won't work. And then you should just be able to run this, it'll ask for the password because if you want to go as root. Um, it extracts all the files and do all the stuff it needs to do. Uh, takes a couple of minutes. Well, less than a minute. There we go. So that should, in theory, if I've scripted this correctly, um, work. So now if you go to go to launcher and type in processing, um, you will see that there is a correct icon for it and we can launch it from here. This might be a little bit slow because it's inside a VM. And there we go. So that is processing. Um, so it's installed, it's chopped a, uh, an icon into the Unity launcher. The other thing we need to check, or we can check, is that um, it's actually installed and, and created like a file um, association. So if I go to where it's installed, which is the options, processing, 3.1, then it's modes, Java, examples, and then demos, graphics. These are all the examples, I've just chosen one. So now we should be able to launch the PDEs and it should go straight into processing, which I guess it means that script works and it's um yeah ready for you guys to install. If you want to know exactly how this works, you can go through the code um, in that script. Basically, it does three things: it, it files from the tar and puts them in a place. Then it creates a launcher and and creates bits and bobs for that. And then um, it also creates a file allocation to tell it that those files are for processing. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like this video, give it a thumbs down if you must, um, or leave some comments. Uh, if there's any improvements that we can do to this or it does something wrong, leave some comments either on this video or over on GitHub. Um, and if you like this kind of thing, then subscribe, I guess. Cheers.